Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to do something a little different. I'm going to turn three to canvases. Okay. Three canvases into one big one. And this time I'm using an old painting that I'm going to redo. And I'm going to do not just any old painting, I'm actually going to put on a landscape with flowers because as you know, I'm going to link some videos up here. I'm totally into flowers right now. And I'm totally into reducing waste by buying new canvas. Reusing, recycling my old canvases. If you're up to that, stay tuned. Coming up next. Okay, so I just sewed the old painting. This is how it looked before, because it was four paintings together. And I'm just going to use three to make this triptych. And so I just gessoed over it with this liquid gesso. Oops, where is the... There, it's a uh, liquid gesso. Just, I can't remember where I got it from. A whole bunch. And I like it because it gives the, because this was, I think I put some varnish over it, a light one, so it's kind of glossy. And the gesso gives it a little tooth for the paint to stick onto. Plus it kind of makes it neutral, obviously, easier to work. I'm going to get rid of the background and um, paint over it, but the... Um, I didn't want it to put lots of layers on it because I still like to kind of get the colors through a little bit to have that as a background texture. Okay, so I'm not sure exactly what all the colors I'm going to use today. I do have some green. This is actually gouache, which I'm half used with acrylics because it's acrylic gouache. So. And this beautiful rose color, but to me it's more of a magenta. Then I got orange, blue, I might use some teal blue too, and we're going to get out in a minute. And I have this old blue liquid pouring paint and some yellow. And I have a whole bunch over here, which I'm going to play with as we go. So I'm going to make, there's a whole bunch of mixtures of acrylic based paints with different viscosities just to yeah, have a fun textured painting. What we're going to do is, it's, this is going to be part of the sort of the flower series, but I have, I made a couple that the flowers are kind of um, falling down and this one is going to be more of a landscape. The flowers down here and the back. Uh, the field or whatever, the sky, depending on. And it's going to be very loose and abstract. So There's not going to be a lot of fine painting going on here, which is not quite what I did the last few times. This is more like the series I did last summer. So I'll link the video up here. You can see those, what I'm talking about. Okay, so I'm going to get ready here, get some water and get started on the painting. Okay, so because we're working with a lot of liquid paint, I'm going to anyway. Got to have some rest, a little bit left in here. I'm going to start on the top and trying to let it drip down. So I'm going to let leave some, let um, use some blue. This is a really similar one. This one is thicker than the other, even though these are pouring um, paints, they seem a little thicker. So we have these ones, whoops, and I just made a mess. I'm just gonna drip these all the way around and then water them down. Okay. 
I'm going to take my spray bottle. This is a little bit of a pain to use, but it's an old one. And just spray it. go down so obviously this is a little too thick so I'm just gonna give a little extra something to adhere to so I'm just gonna trip the other stuff over top At this point, I decided to use a sponge to kind of blend it in and give it a little more of a sky look. I felt the drips weren't enough to give it yeah, that sky feeling. Okay, so as, as you saw in the little quick intro I did for this painting, some of this stuff came off, but it's stuck on again. So I don't know what happened. Anyway, I guess it shouldn't get wet. So I got some greens here and I think I'm gonna use some of these fluid greens up for making, because that's supposed to be the sky and the flower's gonna be down here. So, if anything comes out, maybe. <laughs> okay. This stuff has just gotten thick. It used to be actually way thinner. We're just having fun with some paint, right? See, it comes off, so it's not a pain in the butt. I can't use water.
This forest green I'm using is actually gouache, but it's acrylic based gouache, so it works with the acrylics. It's just matte, it's not shiny, but I kind of like the way it blends in and make, gives it sort of a matte a base for the flowers. Better, see better. Now, what I'm going to do in the middle here. Hmm. Thinking, thinking. Hmm. Basic. What is it called actually? Light blue. Wow, that's really not very inventive. Light blue. Really? Uh, now I have green on it. Supposed to be blue. dirty here it's not dirty I don't know why it does that a little lighter I don't know. okay now I want to get some darker green in there I have a dark 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 green somewhere okay here it is Just dab that.
Okay, that's not what I wanted. So I have to use it. <laughs> Silly me. Then we got this other neon color. So I'm obviously deviating away from my original plan. <laughs> <laughs> I would do that. I decided to put uh, some clouds in with the sponge. I wasn't sure if I should have done that or not because it kind of takes away from the abstraction. But actually at the end I really liked it. Let me know in the comments what do you think. Just do a little fine little I need things going up. for now and and you guys probably a few days after when this all dries it's gonna take quite a while to dry okay so this is the next day it's almost dry and this is how it looks like. Just on my table here that the sun kind of hits it and dries it faster. <clears throat> sort of go like that that you kind of can get an idea how it's going to look like. I actually really like the clouds now. In the beginning I hated them. Now I like them. And I'm going to think I'm going to use 
a marker just put some dots on top of the uh, these blobs to make them sort of look like flowers and maybe i'm going to use the green one to kind of what i'll try to do with the have these long grass um pieces kind of you know flowing into this other space here to kind of make a connection a bridge between the two the dark the, the blue and the green but yeah i actually really like it so let's do that and then i show you the finished project when i'm yeah in a few minutes So there's a little bit of dots and some squiggly lines. There you go. And I actually really like it. Hey guys, that's it. Make sure to subscribe, like and share and check out the description for all the links. And of course, check out the videos that are on the screen here. See you over there.